Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we are going to make some delicious atomic cookies like these. Take a look at how we made these fabulous cookies. This idea is from Christian Kids Explore Chemistry by Bright Ideas Press, which we are using this year with our elementary aged students. So when you are making your atomic cookies, you can use any cookie recipe that you want. We used sugar cookie dough pre-made from the grocery store because that's the easiest thing. It's much cheaper to mix it up yourself though, so you can use any recipe that you want. Now, you want to make it at least four inches across because that's how you are able to put the electrons in there with the M&Ms, okay? So um, you can bake the M&Ms into the cookie like it says in the book, or to make it much more clear, you could do what we did, which is you put white icing on the outside of the cookie after it's baked and cooled, and then put down the M&Ms and use black icing gel to do the uh, shells, the um, electron shells around that cookie. Take a look at these fabulous atomic cookies. We are making cookies, so make your favorite sugar cookie dough recipe and put some wax paper down on the counter and then put the lump of cookie dough in the middle and then put wax paper on the top and then go ahead and roll the cookie dough out. Peel off the wax paper and choose something round that is at least this large and you can put it right on the edge and press it in to make your cookie. You need at least this size in order to have the rings around the, um, the nucleus with M&Ms. So make sure you have it nice and large. Now we are separating M&Ms into three different colors for protons, neutrons, and electrons. The protons are red, the neutrons are blue, and the electrons are brown. So have someone sort out the M&Ms before uh, decorating your cookies. After cooling off the cookies, you can get some um, icing and frost the cookies okay, with white frosting. And then you are ready to add your protons, neutrons, and electrons. So now that you have frosted your cookies, you want to put the protons and neutrons in the middle. So we have six protons and six neutrons, okay? So we will put, put it, there we go, cover up the M's. Is this okay, Mom? Okay. Mom, is this okay? Yeah, it's great. Set it down. Okay. Hmm. This is a carbon atom. It has six uh, protons and six neutrons and six electrons. You can get some um, black icing gel and you can draw a circle around the nucleus for the first shell, okay? And that shell will have two electrons. Now electrons are way smaller, but you can see it that way. And then there's a second shell. Which has four, because you have six in total. So we will put one, two, three, four. So here we have a carbon atom. 
For the nitrogen atom, you want seven protons, seven neutrons, and seven electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now if you want to like jumble them on top of each other so that they are more together like this, okay, this is how they actually are more rounded off and like this, okay. So that is the nucleus all smushed together, okay. And then you have the electrons, once again, you have the outer the inner ring first, the shell, and then the next shell. Okay, so we're going to have seven electrons. The first shell can only have two, okay, and so the other five are on the uh, second shell, like this. So this one is the nitrogen atom. And this is how the finished cookies look. Absolutely delectable, absolutely fabulous. Aren't they absolutely delicious? I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching our Atomic Cookies. Eat up!